I'm following my road to the possible, trying to make the impossible possible. When I got out of Europe, but I continued doing my, my realism because that's what I enjoyed. That's what painting was to me, my bizarre realism. And uh, when I got out, started heading, I got a show pretty quickly. I was doing pen and ink at the time. I should go back. I've gotten confused. Let's do this again. As long as I can remember I had colored pencils and crayons and paper. I was always on search for paper. I used to take cardboard out of my dad's uh, dry cleaning. His shirts came with a piece of beautiful white, white cardboard in the back to hold them. So I'd open the package and I'd take the pieces of cardboard out and I'd sit down and I'd draw. And interestingly, I used to draw two subjects. One was sports figures, football players, hockey scenes. And or I built cities, which I still do to this day. I still love painting cities, whether they're floating or being flooded or, or rising to the sky. I enjoy painting cities. But that's what I always did. I'd lie on the floor or sit at the desk in my bedroom. And I'd spend hours and hours painting, drawing, drawing. Later I got into painting, and what was important was my parents always supported me. I had two older brothers, one became a lawyer, the other became a professor, and always involved in computers and artificial intelligence, and I was free to go my way. And I was a hyper child who was only quiet and well behaved when he was busy painting. So they supported it. I remember my dad, when I was nine years old, came back from New York on a business trip, and he brought uh, a book, just a thin, thin book, called Perspective. But Perspective, I just looked through the pictures, instantly understood what it was about. I understood the horizon line, I understood the lines coming out, people being bigger as they got closer, things being smaller as they, as they receded, colors being more intense as they were closer and being paler as they receded. And it all made sense to me. And there were my parents who were very happy to see me happy and quiet and doing something that at least everybody around me was telling me I was very good at. And that was the beginning. So right from the beginning, I had the support of the two most important people in my life, who were my parents.